Hello everyone, Dr. Hassan is here from Henry Ford College. Uh, today I'd like to continue my lecture on equilibrium of a particle. So in the first lecture we talk about uh, 2D resultant force, how can we find resultants of two forces. Now in this case, if you look into point B, you can see point B is in equilibrium and there are two cables, cable BC and cable BA. They are in tension and the uh, whole block at point D, the cylinder at point D is pulling the structure down, but those two cables are withstanding the structure. So in order to solve a problem involving uh, 2D equilibrium, we start with, first we find the angles of, like if in this case I don't know the angle, I know the ratio is 3, 4, 5, I would need to find the angle. I'm going to call this angle phi. And I do know the phi is equal to tan inverse of 3 over 4. If I put in my calculator, I'm going to get 36.9 degree. So in the first step, I found the angle. Second step would be we, we call something free body diagram. So, so I need to draw a free body diagram for this. And in this case, if I look into point B, I would see there is a whole weight of 60 kilogram. So again, 60 kilogram is not a weight, it's a mass. So I need to multiply it by 9.81, which is the gravity. It will give me uh, 5.89 Newton. So that will be the force at this location. Again, by the way, W is equal to mg. And then in this case, the mass is 60 kilogram multiplied by 9.81 and that gives us 5.89 Newton. Okay, there are two forces pulling up. One force is FBC. The other force is FBA. Okay, the first step, the step one, is to draw a free body diagram for it. The free body diagram is, would be a way that we can communicate with each other on the problem. Now, the angles, one of them is 45, the other angle is 36.9 degree. So in the second step, in order to get in the, in the, in the equilibrium, in the step two, we're gonna say that sum of f of x equal to zero, sum of f of y equal to zero. Again, or, intention is to find the, the tension on those two cables. Those two are unknown. FBC, FBA are unknown. I have two equations and in good get the solution. If I have two equations, I have two unknowns, I could I would be able to solve it. So in step two I'm gonna set the equation up. In step three we're gonna find the solution for this equation. So in step three would be the solution for two equation, two unknowns. Okay. In the first step, after I draw the diagram, I can actually break the forces in X and Y. So I can see FBC, the adjacent to it would be on the X. So again, this is X, this is Y. The adjacent on X will be FBC cosine 45. The opposite will be FBC sine 45. I'm going to do the same thing for FBA. FBA on the X will be FBA cosine 36.9 and then on the Y will be FBA sine 36.9. So in step 2 I want to set up the equations. So on the F of X I'm going to say that sum of F of X is equal to 0. On the X I have 1 FBC, FB C cosine 45. Again, this is to the positive x. The other one is pointing to the negative. So minus FBA cosine 36.9 equal to 0. And then I can write the same equation for f of y. Sum of f of y equal to 0. On the y, I'm going to have, uh, on the y, I have these two forces pointing up and then 589 pointing down. So I'm going to say uh, FBC sine 45 going up plus FBA sine 36.9 going up. 
and then minus 589 which is going down so I set up the equations on the X on the Y now I can solve them in order to solve them the easiest way that I do go I don't like to keep it as cosine I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna solve for this this is actually 0 0.707 and then this one is cosine 36.9 is 0 0.8 sine of 45 degrees is 0 0.707 and then sine of 36.9 I got it as 0 0.6 so now when I'm looking for the solution I'm actually bringing this there so the first equation I have equation 1 I have 0 0.707 FBC you can keep it as FBC you could just short it for BC so I'm going to call it BC minus 0 0.8 BA is equal to zero remember you can keep the f but the f to carry it will be lots of things to carry so equation two i have 0 0.707 fbc or i simply short it for bc plus 0 0.6 ba is equal to i bring the 589 to the other side of the equation i'm going to get 589 now in the top equation you can actually solve one of them in, 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 with respect to the other one right so I can say from this side I'm gonna say uh, again I, I can bring this to the other side I can simplify it as BC is equal to 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.707 BA if I simplify it more I'm gonna get BC is equal to 1.13 BA. So I'm going to use this. This is called substitution method. I'm going to use to substitute the BC here. Okay, let's substitute it there. So I'm going to get 0 0.707. Instead of BC, I'm going to put that 1.13 BA. And I already have plus 6 BA. This is equal to 580. Nine. So now in this case I can factor the whole BA if I factor BA I would be able to solve it so let's factor BA if I factor BA I'm going to get BA into 0 0.707 times 1.13 plus 0 0.6 is equal to 589 and then the whole thing here if I if you simplify this with your calculator you're gonna get 1.4 so I have 1.4 BA so the equation will be like this 1.4 BA is equal to 589 from here BA would be equal to 589 over 1.4 the answer for this is 4 to 1 so we found the force BA or FBA now I want to find force FBC or BC so I once I found 421 from here I can bring it substituted in this equation to find BC okay so in this equation I have BC is equal to 1.13 the magnitude of BA is 421 so I put 421 here and then so it will be 1.13 times 421 I'm going to get BC is equal to uh, 475 and that's it we simply set up the equation for a 2d equilibrium the first step we find the angle we draw the diagram we break it in X and Y step 2 we set up the equations and step 3 we solve the equation thank you for watching this 